Hey guys, Gravender here, and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. And uh, technical difficulties as usual. So we're at the overlay the audio to this whole video as I go through and watch it again. Now, in this episode, we're going to be taking up, if you couldn't tell from the title already, taking Black Widow up to rank four. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering hey, it's only been four days. Since the last time you took up a champion to rank four. How did we do it so fast? Well, I'll tell you. Got a tier four as a milestone out of the tier four basic catalyst arena. So there's one. Finished chapter two. Which was pretty freaking awesome having that out of the way and now i'm looking forward to the struggle that is going to be chapter three before eventually have to step in to do chapter four once it is you know kind of given out there and that's kind of what i'm doing right now is showing you guys 100 percent chapter two we'll be moving into chapter three soon and come on get to it Try to find it in here. Can't find it because I'm stupid and I delete stuff. So I don't have the message anymore. So I'm going to have to take you guys into the Alliance Quest screen. Just to show you what we got. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, I posted it on my Facebook page. We ranked 37th overall in the gifted tier with 53 million points completed rank five every single day or map five every single day i don't have any rank fives i wish but we're getting closer because with that came a tier four class catalyst crystal so now we have three three tier four class catalysts unfortunately they're not all the same but that's where the third tier four basic came from so now we have enough to take up black widow now this was really a, a, a big toss-up for me on who i was actually going to take up to rank four i mean it's wasn't it wasn't a huge toss-up it's more like a coin toss because i only had two that i was going to take up currently and that is Black Widow or Iron Fist. So, we're going to get into that in just a second. As soon as I get on here. I don't really remember exactly what I was talking about at that point. So, but, I digress. We're getting there slowly. Come on, Grave. Get on with it. There we go. So, yeah, it's... It was a toss-up for me, personally, on Iron Fist and Black Widow on which one I actually wanted to take up. And to me, Black Widow just has more benefits as far as taking her into the Alliance Quest. Both are going to be good for the Alliance Quest Prestige. Either one would have worked. They're just a couple of points off of each other, so it's not that big of a deal as far as Prestige goes on taking either one of them up. But Black Widow is definitely the better of the two, because of the path that I normally take in Alliance Quest. I usually go the far right path where it's a skill mystic path in the very first portion. The mystic sometimes changes out, but the not skill, science. Science mystic and the mystic sometimes switches out, but the science is always there. And there is also an Electro on that path. So she's definitely going to be the one that I want to take. Because she, her subtly, does a lot of good against Electro. Because his static doesn't hit you. Black Widow strikes her target with subtle calculated grace. Reducing the chance of triggering their abilities by... i got to pull it up on my actual screen here so I can see it. Because this thing's way too small. 82.3%. Uh, she's only at level 40 on her signature ability. But that's pretty awesome. 82.3%. Now, before the rank up, she is currently sitting at 2,797 on her power index. 
8,482 on her health, 711 on her attack. So let's all go to 711 to get us a Slurpee. No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, whatever. And she has Evade, which isn't really the best thing in the world. She has Precision 5, Cruelty 5, and Stun 3. <laughs> it's not the same on the tablet that I, I'm looking at. I have to kind of just like, I need glasses really bad. So I'm like trying to squint and look. Here I give you the details. I'm not going to try and read this stuff. I know it's different on what I have currently right now. So we're going to go down them. She has really awesome abilities, especially her special attacks with the increased crit hit rate and crit damage. That is absolutely tremendous for her so absolutely love that part and then you've got the stun possibility with a special three and we're not that big on doing special threes especially in alliance quest that eat up too much of your time if you can hit a level two level one with her and get the buffs then it's awesome now we've got captain marvel it's already at rank four None of the other ones we have, but Hawkeye and Hulk would actually be a pretty good pairing for her. Well, not so much Hawkeye, but at least Hulk, because we could get the stun off of it. 25% chance stun is pretty awesome. Hawkeye, he'd be more of uh, for a team for Old Man Logan. Not so much Black Widow, because I'm not. I don't really like the idea of taking in one of each class or one of the two of the same class into a lion's quest i don't know i just don't like it i like having that bonus against champions when i'm going into a lion's quest so i like to take in a mixture my, my normal team is superior iron man daredevil captain america because they get a really awesome crit boost off of each other so that's just a, a good way of looking at it for me. I like that pairing and that tandem of a team. So, it's just, just the team that I usually like to take. Sometimes I have to substitute out Captain America for another champion just because of the fact that in the first section, the Mystics often do change. But, we'll see how things work out in this next Alliance quest. I know that... Groups are going to be switching up. I think somebody is actually going to be taking the second far right that I normally take, the heel block section. So, may get to toy with some new champions and see who to bring in. I'm not sure if it's going to affect anything with section one. Section three is really a toss up because sometimes I'm asleep. We never know where we're going to be at whenever anybody comes in. Now, this was what surprised me a whole lot, was that Black Widow didn't place higher than she did. She's still top five, so that helps out with prestige. But I just, I don't, it, it didn't make a lot of sense as to why she was low on the totem pole. Like I said, she's still top five, so she's going to help with prestige. But I just kind of expected her to be up there with, like, Ultron or close to Ultron. I know she wasn't going to knock him off, but I just I didn't think the power index was that much different between the two of them. So much so that it's two hundred. Well, you know, not not exactly two hundred, a hundred and some. But yeah, now we're going to look at after the rank up. Black Widow is currently sitting at 3,684 on her power index, 11,138 on health, 931 on attack, and everything else down below stayed the same. Nothing went up. I was kind of hoping the stun would go up. I'm uh, pretty sure we were at 2 whenever it all started, and we're at, we're, or we're at, we were at 3. You know, I don't know. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I've watched the video. I'm watching it as I do this right now, and I, I, I can't see. I can't see. It's really tiny on the screen while I'm overlaying uh, the audio on this track, but I can't remember if she was at two or three when it started. Either way, if, if it was at two, then that's the only thing that went up was her stun. But 
we're going to test her out and see. Now, I, I did go into looking at what she would look good with as a team on here, and it would be Captain Marvel, Black Widow, and Captain America. But the only thing you get is a 12% armor buff. So, basically, all you're going to do is your health is going to go up or your attack, your, your power index is going to go up by some. So, it's not really that big of a deal to me. Um, I like the crit chance and damage that Captain America, Daredevil, and Superior Iron Man all get rolled up into one there. So, I like that a lot more. If I can stay on the path that I'm currently doing once we start the next round of Alliance Quest, then that's what I'm going to do. But, alright guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, as always. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Later.